Hello everyone. Um, I thought today I'll share a little bit of process of how I am working on my landscape. It's a sunflower landscape and we started working on it last so I thought I'll just uh, share a few tips on the second stage. So the first stage we laid the ground colors and um, then we plotted um, the main kind of composition. So looking at the reference photo, we decided, you know, what were good places for placing our main kind of focal points. So at this stage, the second stage, we kind of placed the key elements um, on, on the central places. The important thing at this stage is making sure that we've got different angles. So if it's a sunflower that's facing at you then you know the kind of center part of the sunflower is going to be quite circular if it's at an angle it's a good idea to use your you know kind of pencil or your brush to check the angles for the reference photo it's kind of um, we discussed about the angle clock so it's kind of a two o'clock angle and you can see some of them are at like one o'clock angle so check you know what the angle of your sunflower is going to be at this facing sideways then it's going to be an ellipse shape where you know the bottom part is going to be pretty flat and the top part is going to be a bit roundish uh, the same way if they are like uh, quite you know at an angle then you won't be able to really see the uh, much of the central part of the sun i'll just show you my palette as well uh, i am using burnt umber so these are the colors that i am using at this stage uh, i've got uh, cadmium red medium hue I've got uh, burnt umber, uh, I'm using titanium white, um, cadmium yellow medium hue, uh, then I have got a bit of uh, alizarin crimson hue permanent and phthalo blue. So I'm using cad, uh, burnt umber and I've gone back and I'm kind of redefining the center of the sunflower, so just getting my uh, central part of the sunflowers blocked in with burnt umber it's a very nice rich color deep color really good for blocking in stage so i had laid a layer of uh, a cadmium yellow medium hue but i can see that you know that yellow is pretty transparent and i will need to kind of uh, add a layer to make it more vibrant so what i'm going to do is i'm using titanium white and I'm just going to go back and block in some uh, petal shapes um, of the sunflower so that I can start defining it more. What I'm using is the stroke, the way I'm holding the brushes, I've got paint on one side. I'm going in with the tip of the brush and I can see it's a bit, so I'll probably go flat first and then pressure, push down, and lift it up gradually, less pressure, and then twist my brush and it kind of gives me a pointy uh, angle so that kind of gives me a nice shape of a petal the central part dark with the base color it's burnt umber and I'll just cover the rest of the central part with this beautiful hue that I've created by mixing a little bit of burnt umber and adding a bit of uh, cad red medium and alizarin crimson as well so I'll just go around and cover some of them I can see and there's another good technique that I'll start using is a bit of dabbing. So using the tip of the brush and I start dabbing uh, the central part in and 
using the dabbing technique I will start laying because I can see it's quite yellowish um, uh, tinge that it's getting from the corner side so I will add a bit of yellow and start dabbing that on top of that crimson layer that I've laid but I don't want it to overtake that beautiful color that is at the bottom so I'll just be careful not to totally kind of uh, kill it off but still have a bit of you know yellow shining through we'll continue from there next time so thank you for joining see ya bye